Although we don't have an exact start date on the AHL and NHL getting ready to boot up for next season, we have some new stuff to talk about in regards to players that the Jets have, prospects in particular that are playing overseas in Europe right now. If you're unaware, the Jets have loaned six players out to go play in Europe right now, basically to stay fresh, develop their game, and get better overall and play in this time when we really don't know what's going to happen with the future, with how we're going to play and start and whatnot. And the Jets have played really, really well, especially the players that they've sent, especially these four players in particular. Now, they have sent six, like I said, Christian Veselainen and Leon Gnock. Pardon me if I butchered that last name. I do not probably know how to say his name yet. I'm still learning it. And both of those players have not suited up yet for their respected clubs, and because of that, I'm not going to be talking about them as much. I will probably make an update video on them once they've played about 10 games or whatnot, more similar to what these players have currently already done. But right now, let's talk about these six players, these five, four players, I guess, in particular, and about what we could be excited to see with these guys developing and what to expect with the future of the roster of the Jets and the Moose and whatnot going forward. So let's talk about it and jump right in. First player we're going to talk about is prospect goaltender Mikael Burden. Now, right now, Mikael Burden is playing over in St. Petersburg, SKA, in the KHL. He's played 11 games so far. And he's been very, very, very solid so far. Uh, he's got five wins, three losses, and two ties, with a save percentage of 917, a goals against average of 252. Actually, his best goal average since playing on the Moose for 23 games back in 2018-19. So overall, he's playing pretty well. His game is performing really nicely, and he's starting to look more and more like that backup goaltender, possibly even a starting goaltender within the future of his career. Now, it's really interesting to me that the Jets have this situation because a lot of Jets fans that are older, have been with the team for a long time, know this exact feeling. We had Eric Comrie and Connor Hellebuck. We thought we were going to have an all-star, all really young goaltending backup back, uh, tandem. Excuse me. We thought we were going to be in a really good position, similar to what the Canucks had been in the past. It looked like it was a good overall position to be in with good goaltenders. Yet we've seen what's happened with Vesna winner Connor Hellebuck and mediocre AHL fringe starter Eric Comrie. So let's hope for something better in Mikael Burden. Overall, I've seen. I love the way he plays the game. I love his approach to it. Um, it's very. He's a very entertaining goaltender to watch, as most Moose fans that watch him a lot will know. And he's just a fantastic a guy, good locker room presence, and he's playing really well over in St. Petersburg right now. But yeah, fantastic goaltender prospect that the Jets have in him, and I'm really expect, excited to see what he can do. Um, definitely happy that they brought back Lauren Brassois for the next season. I think if we give him the reins in the Moose, regardless of when they play, when that starts, I think if he can start this year in the Moose, show that he can pr do pretty well as a starting in, starting goaltender in the AHL, I definitely could see the Jets bumping him up to a uh, backup position for Connor Hellebuck within the next couple of years, definitely. I definitely think this kid is going to make a big impact on the roster for uh, tandem-wise and backup goaltender. I'm very excited to see what he can do at the NHL level, and I'm very excited to see what he can do in the KHL right now, I'm continuing on with his uh, career with St. Petersburg right now, and also looking forward to what he brings to the Moose after his tender with the St. Petersburg SKA in the KHL is over. Now, the next prospect we're going to be talking about is David Gustafsson, a center out of Sweden. Now, he was taken back in the 2018 draft, 60th overall in the second round, and so far he's playing in the Swedish One League. Um, I don't know that much about European leagues with the names and divisions, so excuse me if I am on that, if uh, that's not the right name, I'm just basing it off of what I'm looking at. But so far in 10 games, he's put up two goals, six assists for eight points, and six penalty minutes with a plus minus of zero. Now, that's very nice to see, and it's very encouraging to see. In 13 games with the Moose last, uh, I guess I should say, look, COVID season before it was cancelled, um, he played had two goals, five assists for seven points. So definitely looking interesting to see with Gustafsson to hopefully see him develop more. I would definitely love to see him coming into the bottom six with, in a couple years. Um, the Jets have a ton of really, really good Jet uh, bottom six players, and they have been producing that for a while. And Andrew Kopp, Adam Lowry, Brandon Tanev was another guy who I thought definitely played well and developed this game well as a undrafted rookie and came in and started to play very well with the team before he left and went to Pittsburgh on that big contract. So it's good to see the Jets having this road rotating carousel of young possible prospects that they can interject into the lineup whenever they need to with injury or regardless of what the situation is where they need a body to play. I really high on Gustafson. I definitely think he could be one of the better centers and better prospects we have for that bottom six role, especially if Adam Lowry does eventually leave the team with either an expansion draft or free agency, depending on what the direction of the team and if they want to keep him around or not. Eve, I hope they do. Um, but yeah, Gustafson looks like he could be a definitely good prospect. He's playing very, very well. He's definitely a very hard player on the boards. Um, he goes in very hard. He wins face-offs. He digs in deep. He uh, battles for the puck very well. He gets into the dirty places in front of the net. He gets good tip goals. He can read plays well. He's pretty good at passing it well and moving the puck, which is something you always want to have in a puck-moving center. Puck-moving centers are one of the most key aspects of a team and how well they can uh, enter the neutral zone and maintain puck possession. If you have a good center and good puck control moving through that neutral zone, that's exactly what you want with 
in a lineup of our forwards, and I think that Gustafsson working on that, developing it even more in Sweden right now, coming over to the A, I think it could be very beneficial for his game. So definitely a good start to see with Gustafsson. Hopefully he can build off of this and continue it going into the full year with the AHL, hopefully next year, and very excited to see what the future of David Gustafsson's NHL career uh, will be with the Winnipeg Jets. Now, the next player I'm going to talk about is Jonah Luotu, a player who I thought, honest to God, would make the team last season after the preseason he had. He was very, very good, I found, and overall... Uh, last year he didn't end up playing he ended up playing 16 games with the Jets and he wasn't you know that good of a player he didn't put up a single point and he was a minus two a minus three I should say and yeah other than that he hasn't had the offensive upside um, really to his game but I think he brings a lot more in size defensive uh, upside in, uh, in that side of the game a uh, good penalty killer um, a good player to just have on your team overall a good or good prospect so far though in 10 games like I said that I feel like I'm getting into he's playing in the SML Liga League uh, for Helsinki and in 10 games he's put up two goals two assists for four points and so far he's playing pretty well he's not getting that much playing time uh, he's b uh, bouncing around in their bottom six right now but it's good to see him getting more time and playing uh, I definitely expect him to work on his game more and he could be another surprising piece to the puzzle of the bottom six carousel that the Winnipeg Jets have in prospects like I just mentioned for their forward core they have a lot of guys like Luo too who I feel like are that like a couple steps away a couple years away developing their game to getting to that bottom six spot and it's good because although you know they don't have as much trade value as I would say because they don't have NHL proven experience it's good to have guys like this just like to plug in like I've said injuries do happen especially with the Jets it seems and um, it's good just to have guys like this and so far he's playing well uh, 10 games 4 points really can't complain with the bottom 6 minutes uh, I'm gonna looking forward to see what he can do now I saved the best prospect for last my favorite current Jets prospect outside of Cole Perfetti Vili Heinola now, Heinola has been phenomenal so far out in the Liga League on Luko Ram, 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 Rama. Excuse me if I pronounce that. My finish isn't up to date as much as I'd like it to be. But he has been fantastic. Only four points in ten games, all four assists. But that's not where his defense, his game has been shown to be the best. His defensive game right now, puck moving, puck possession in his own zone, in the neutral zone, and breakout passing, has been phenomenal. His body position coming in on two on rushes, playing very well in positioning himself to stop any rushes, blocking passes, blocking shots. He's just being a fantastic, fantastic defenseman, and that's exactly what I wanted to see him work on. I know Vili Nohenola has offensive upside for sure, even though we haven't seen it as much as we could have expected compared to when he was in the NHL, but he still uh, is a very good moving, fuck moving player, a good defensive player, and I still, still think he's going to develop into a very, 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 very good top four, even maybe possibly top pairing defenseman in his future. Um, definitely like to see him working on his defensive game so far in 10 games. Um, definitely going to expect to see that point total go up a little bit. But overall, it's looking like he can be is going to just improve even more. I feel like this development out right now in with in the Liga League is going to be huge for when the Moose start to go back up and he goes over to start playing with them. Uh, that would be huge for his game, I think, especially with his defensive side on the harder uh, AHL ice. There's a lot more hitting than in Europe and a lot more physicality. And I think if he can be defend working on his defensive game even more in the Liga and bring that skill over and apply it to North American ice, I think he can is going to just elevate his game even more. And he could that very much battle for it a really good high roster position for the Jets. He, who knows what could have it with him. I feel like Vili Hinola is a prospect kind of like what Connor Hellebuck was in the first year of Steve Mason's and only the year of Steve Mason's contract with the Jets. Um, he was not expected to Connor Hellebuck to take the reins yet. And I feel like Hinola might just be that type of guy. He's not expected to be that all-star defenseman yet, but I really do think that he's going to just break into the league hot and he's going to be breaking out running and not going to stop for the rest of his career. I really have a lot of hope in Hinola, and I've just seen, off of what I've seen so far from the clips and highlights of him playing right now in Liga, I definitely think that this is going to benefit his game a lot. But that brings basically wraps up the four big prospects playing currently right now out of the Winnipeg Jets prospect pool in Europe that have been loaned out to these European teams. What are your thoughts on their game so far? What are your thoughts on their development and stats? Let me know all of your concerns, thoughts, and theories, trade rumors, whatever you want down in that comment section below. Love seeing all your guys' comments and stuff like that. So thank you so much for all the support on the channel as per usual. And I just want to say right before we quit in this video real quick, if you are new to the channel and a fan of hockey, definitely consider dropping a subscription. We are going to be covering a lot more teams and a lot more hockey related news in the future once this starts to get more information about next season and when we can start actually starting to build an idea of when we can actually pinpoint a start of the season so thank you guys so much for all the support definitely subscribe if you're new peace love and positivity guys peace out take care i will see you guys in the next video go jets go